Hey you guys, welcome back to our Twin Flame channel. How have you guys been? I hope that you guys have been amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back. I haven't been on this channel in a little while, you guys. Okay, so um, I decided so let's get some content out over here. I'm always on my other channel. Let's get some content out over here. We also haven't did index messages in a while as well. So let's get some index messages out. Also, I know you guys noticed that the chat is off. And if you follow me on my other platform, I know you noticed that the comment section is off. But, like, the trolling has just gotten out of hand. Um, and it's not just my my platform. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm good friends with um, um, some other really talented readers as well. And it's, it's them too. Like, they're complaining about the same thing. So, like, I don't really know what's going on. I low-key think it's bots. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why I think that it's bots collective is because um, there's no way that every time um, we go live that it's, like, nine or ten trolls in the comment section at one time every time. No. It's, it's really giving bot, Okay. Um, AKA not even real people for real. So it's probably like some weird, weird AI stuff that they're trying to, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what they got going on. Where's my oil for my hands? But I don't know. I mean, some of them are real trolls, but I mean, even those are being used. They're just tools being used. But, but mostly I don't really think that they're real people for real, for real. Like, cause there's no way that. Me and all my me and all my tarot friends um are having the same issues. So, you know, we're just gonna detox from the comment section for a while until that situation is squared away. And also I need I need it like a detox from like um reading the comment section because it can, you know, be kind of draining. So um let me take this opportunity to welcome in my Spirit guides, my ancestors, closest to the sun. Um, I ask that they shield me, cover me, and protect me as I channel the message for the Twin Flame Collective. Um, I ask that they also guard the spiritual doors. Don't let any nasty, negative, evil, filthy spirits through any um, spiritual doors and portals that I may be knowingly opening and unknowingly opening all right i ask that they cover me with the golden light of protection um not only for myself but for my family and for my viewers um who are of the light as well all right in god's name i pray amen all right let's kind of get some index me index messages just see what comes out all right okay so What is this? You're the one that got away. So I guess this is how this reading is going. You're the one that got away. Or I guess we're just going to kind of let the index cards guide the guide the reading. Um, money blocking spells return back to sender. So um, kind of like side note energy. Someone could have been trying to energetically block um, chosen ones. Because if you are a twin, you are definitely chosen. Um yeah, so block um, chosen ones money. So side note on that. But if anybody has been doing anything energetically to block your money, it's automatic return back to sender. Um, at this point, collective, we have to, we should have leveled up in rank and um, so high right now that we shouldn't return back to senders. Really, shouldn't even be necessary. It's just. You literally uh, praying and um, asking the energy to kind of directing the energy yourself. Uh, some of you guys haven't made it to that point yet and you still have to physically do a return back to sender. It's OK. There's levels. There's levels to it. Some of you guys have gotten to the point where you have um, passed certain spiritual tests and you've received um certain raises in your ranking where you don't have to light a candle like you don't have to do any type of ritual um you you're realizing that you are you are you are you it's you you're the altar okay um and you can actually 
speak what what you need to happen you can you can redirect the energy um a lot of you guys too you're you're coming to terms you're you're coming to realize that you don't even have to send it back um actually that's just kind of where i'm at really like if i want to send it back and like i will but if not i'll keep it like i'll really keep what you send me and use it for myself to make money like or whatever the hell i want to do with the energy i'll just keep it um I'm just, you know, my team is working with me on mastering the art of, you know, um, transmutation, uh, transmuting what is sent to you, which is a very powerful, powerful um, tool, right? And it just kind of like your enemy ended up, they end up helping you. They end up helping you. So somebody needed to hear that. So just regardless, whatever was sent to you guys is returned automatically the universe is going to take care of it you can still choose to hold on to some of that energy if you want to and you can use it for yourself whatever you decide to do but there's definitely um your your twin right now they're viewing you as the one that got away so this person is in their feelings um heavy right now um tell me more oh this person is sending so some of you guys your twin is sending you sexual energy you're picking up on sexual energy energy from your counterpart. Tell me more. Hmm. This person is also checking up on you online via social media. Deliverance from evil. Your person probably recently went through some type of deliverance. Okay. Or maybe this is why the, uh, the universe separated you and your twin because they needed some type of deliverance collective. Saw your halo and wanted it for themselves. It's missing an R. I'm aware. Okay. I was writing fast. But um, this person saw your halo and wanted somebody saw your halo and wanted it for themselves. I don't think this is your twin. Your twin has their own halo. Give me another message. But this could be like another side note message that somebody once saw your halo and wanted it for themselves yeah this person's getting karma so i'm gonna put this over here with the side note messages so this could be the same person who tried to block your money um divine feminine divine masculine because this person was jealous of your halo this person could be the one who needs deliverance from evil this person could need a whole exorcism for real don't even know it this person whoever this is could have a host a host of entities on them and don't even know it yeah, this person is not spiritually protected. Who is this person that's coming through heavy in your reading? This person is not spiritually protected. They tried to energetically block your money, whether they was uh, speaking negative things over your life. Um, just super jealous, evil eye, evil eye and your blessings or something. This person needs deliverance from evil and they are not spiritually protected, which is a double whammy. Like, how are you going to attack somebody and you have no protection? This That's so crazy. So when all of this energy comes back on you, who's going to protect you? No one. All right? Nothing. Nada. Nobody's going to protect you. That's crazy. Okay? And, the, and because you guys are um, uh, 144... Because you guys are 144, you're twins, you're, you already have like a high ranking. See, look at this, high off your energy. See, because you're high ranking. Your energy is very, very high vibrational. Um, you know, whoever did this or attempted this, they lost. Like their ancestors are turning their back on this person. They're turning their back on this person. Because um, this isn't the type of smoke you want for attacking uh, my chosen one. You don't want that type of smoke on your lineage. So they're deciding that that's why they don't have no spiritual protection because they they targeted um, someone who is um, loved by the ethers, loved by he heaven most high and who has a lot of a lot of spiritual ranking, like a freaking celebrity in the spirit. So it's just like, yeah, their ancestors like, yeah, you on you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own. Give me another message. For my twin flame what's been going on with them what has been going on with them and and yes wow spirit was like pray for them pray for them okay so you know we're gonna take that so whoever this energy is collective they need prayer because they need deliverance from evil and when we pray for our enemies we always supposed to ask god to heal them 
for real. Okay. So this person needs you or whoever this is, they need you to ask God to heal them. And you could do it because you are one, four, four, meaning you are the closest thing to getting to most high. Okay. Nobody can approach the throne. Like, but what his kids and, um, his archangels type energy and like you are a child of the most high so you are one of the rare people few that can actually approach the throne energetically and speak to your father so uh yeah pray pray for your enemies collective ask god to heal them um also you know but see the gag with that is when you pray for your enemies and you ask god to heal them um, it actually it actually ushers in their karma quicker. And the reason why, in order to receive healing, you have to go through the dark night. So you have to be convicted before you get the healing. You can't just like conviction, dark night of the soul, accountability, um, uh, facing themselves. It's all a part of the healing. So because I hear some people say, I don't want to pray for my enemy. Screw them. I want them to get their karma. You're actually the reason why they're not getting the karma. You're holding it up because you won't even forgive them and pray for them and ask God for their healing. You're holding up their karma. You don't even know that. Shooting yourself in the foot. But it has to be a genuine prayer, though. It can't be just because you want them to get their karma. Like, like you, you legit have to be on some earth angel type energy. Just like, you know what, God? I forgive them. Like, just heal them. Like, you know what? How about, how about we get this out the deal? How about I learned my lesson, I evolve, I get blessed off of their attack and you know, oh uh, God, you get their soul because you're going to um, take them through the motions of their healing process, which is going to be very hard because this is an evil person. So it's going to be a very, very shitty process for them. Um, and then, you know, once you're done, you get their soul. So it's just like a win-win. You get blessed. God gains somebody else to the kingdom. You know, it, it's a win-win for real. You literally be like bringing most high people's souls. Every time somebody attack you, they get delivered. <laughs> that is so crazy. Oh my God. That you literally be out here like you be breaking people to God. Like, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but every time somebody attack you, divine feminine, divine masculine, it's like attacking you triggers an awakening, which is crazy. I mean, I know it sounds crazy. I wish I could see y'all comments. I just don't feel like no BS today. Okay. So just thumbs up the video. I can see the thumbs up if you understand what I'm saying. But when people attack you, because of your ranking and how close you are connected to heaven, it triggers every everything high vibrate. It triggers the heavens, all of your allies, uh, other angels, everything in, in the heavens is aware and triggered when somebody attacks you. When you cry, it gets the attention of the heavens. God himself is just like, wait, what? Is that one of mine? What's going on? Let me let me peek down there and see what's going on. And then it just kind of like puts most high in a position where he has to actually he gotta um he deals with them. And he deals with them even faster when you guys when you handle things from a higher perspective and a higher vibration, like when you are truly forgiving. Like when you just like, you know what? I learned a lesson. It is what it is. I give them to you. Like when you start, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> people, people learn the greatest spiritual lessons of their life when they, when they attack you. The greatest spiritual lessons of their life. It, it gets, it gets real ugly before it gets better when people attack you for real. All right. Um, attacking you actually, um, probably save be saving people's lives and I, I saving their souls and i hate i know that sounds weird but yeah it, it kind of it forces the it forces the punishment to come and then in the midst of them getting their punishment they're learning lessons and it forces it to come quicker because of your ranking yeah and it's kind of like it's nothing worse it's nothing worse than going through your um a dark night of the soul and at some type of an awakening when you don't even want to for real like y'all remember how hard it was when you willingly went on this journey you went willingly 
imagine being drug drug through this and you're it's not willing you're an evil person you have many hosts many demons and you're being drugged through it like literally archangel michael is beating your butt and dragging you through this process <laughs> and and standing there watching you forcing you to go through the lesson the karmic lesson that oh my god it's absurd like whoo if they make it out of it with their life if they make it out of it and and, and you're going to make it out with your life okay because baby no if you you got to pay this karma god ain't gonna let you die that, no you got to go through it okay and if you just so happen to pass you're going to come back right back into that karmic lesson again and you're going to do it again and again okay um whoever this person is your your twin this person's um, I, their heart is racing. It's this person's anxiety is so it's up. Yeah, because this person is finna make a final decision, or they've made some type of final decision, and they're coming. There, this person is silently planning to come towards you and speak some type of truth to you. They want to tell you that they made a final decision. Cause my heart started racing. Oh, this person is nervous. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I hate you're no longer thinking with your heart, but instead using your head. Wow. And I just said my heart started racing. So it's something dealing with the heart. You're no longer using your heart and you're using your head. So you guys are right now head over heart. You you could have viewed this person as being like a narcissist or whoever this, this energy is could be like a narcissist or something like that. Um, God protected you from your twin. Yeah. You guys were protected from your counterparts. Because even if this person wasn't a narcissist, they were definitely behaving like one. Sometimes people be misdiagnosed, right? They're not really a narcissist, but they just have a lot of traits and qualities of one. Tell me more. So you're not thinking with your heart no more, but you are definitely in your head and in your bag right now. You guys are being called to rise above the hate. You could have met your twin 10 years ago. Um, this person is returning to you equally yoked. Yeah, look at that. Surrender. Yeah, your twin is about to surrender. Okay, they, they're, they've they been working on being equally yoked to you in every way. Okay. Um, some of you guys, you could have met them 10 years ago. I think I already said that. Tell me more. Or something happened 10 years ago. Give me another message for the, for the Twin Flame Collective rewarded for your obedience yeah so whoever's counterpart this is this person is being like you are a part of this person's reward because spirit has been working very closely with this person for a while a couple years okay and this person they i feel like there was like a lot of uh kickback initially like this person had to initially be drugged through their, their healing you know um, but this person, uh, they surrendered. Ultimately, they surrendered and they've been doing things behind the scenes, being obedient. I'm proud of this person. Working, working, um, working with spirit, being a better man, being a better woman, being a better person just in general. Tell me more about this person's twin. Ooh. Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah. Your person could have had a near-death experience. It took like a near-death experience, whether this was like some of y'all, this person actually had a real near-death experience. And this was that what triggered them into surrendering. It, it it normally, I hate to say that, but for some people, it takes a near-death experience. Like some some people's souls are so stubborn. Some people are, they're on a, on a soul level. They are so freaking stubborn and it would literally take, and, uh, and listen, didn't I say that it's like, uh, I said, Archangel Michael standing, watching somebody go through the, the worst BS, forcing them to go through it. Look at this angel standing here with a smile on his face while this man is frowning. We just, I just said that. Like, literally, this could have been this person over here that was in this low vibrational energy. Your counterpart needed deliverance. But I feel like there's there were in, there, there was angelic energy that 
literally stood by and watched this person go through the most the most triggering things collective all of their karma and I feel like the angel was there not only as guidance, but to make sure that this person didn't weasel their way out of the karmic lesson. Because this is this person is giving weasel like this person was very sneaky in the past. OK, and this person, even energetically, they had a way of kind of weaseling them wet their way out of stuff. Not this time. No, like literally God sent an angel to like watch them, make sure that they go through that lesson and they ain't sleeping on a job. They ain't slacking. OK, so this person went through definitely like some type of near death experience, um, compliments of an angel. Um, but the angel was there to make sure that this person didn't die, whether this was physically or spiritually. And this this was what made this person surrender. And now this person has actually been moving in obedience and they're being rewarded and you're a part of the uh this person's reward coming back in communication with you even if it's not like a physical union right now but just just talking to you is a reward for this person like you guys have no idea yeah 144 um uh, like just being able to talk to you again is this person whoever this is going to resonate with when you talk to your person physically like on the phone or face to face that is that is a reward for them this person has been working so hard. Like spirit has been kicking this person's butt for a while just to get them to the point where they are ready to even talk to you. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more. The unawakened. See, this person was unawakened. Your person was unawakened at the time. And see, didn't I say you guys are highly exalted? Yeah, you're highly exalted. So the, the your twin could not be around you as long as they were they were not awakened. They, this person had to go through. They had to go to a, through a deliverance. They had to be cleared of negative energy. You guys are too high vibrational. You are too close to most high energetically. I mean, you're not God, but you know what I'm saying. You are a God, or you are a goddess. Okay, for real. So yeah, look at that. And you guys were called to protect your crown. You had to protect your crown collective. Mm. Baby, I heard that they took your person through the ringer. Yeah, 2222 22 on my timer. 2222 22 could be significant, but they took your twin through the ringer. So you could be a prophetic, you could be a um a prophet with prophetic messages. You 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 may have the gift of um sight, vision. This person was once, this person once lost their crown. They lost their, um, their crown and they were dealing with the karmic and it became like a karmic couple situation here. Okay. Yeah. They lost their crown at one point, but look like this person been going through it to get this crown back. Tell me more. So if they partnered with a, uh, I heard a Jezebel, they could have partnered with a Jezebel energy or someone who was very low vibrational and they were coming out in readings as karmic couples. See, there it is. Congratulations, you healed. Can't make it up. This person has been really, really working hard on healing behind the scenes because they did they did go astray with a karmic woman or a karmic man. All right, look at that. But the power of prayer, the power of prayer you prayed for your person. I always been, be picking up this energy off of, of some of you guys who don't mind praying for people. You prayed for your person and it, it helped. I, it helped. You, someone is a pow powerful prayer warrior. You're like, you really, you really gets down in the spirit love. Okay. You go to war spiritually. You don't fight people with your hands. You fight them through prayer. You fight demons through prayer. Okay. Um, so yeah, you really, really did help your, your person out through their awakening. And that's so beautiful. I pushed you away because I let my ego get in the way. So yeah, this person out of ego, they pushed you away. They ran. You already know this. Got a big ego. Yeah, this person had a big ego collective. Um, you hold my heart, but you know, this person, I always knew that you were the one who held the key to their hearts. Um, but their ego and their pride would not let them admit that. Tell me more. <clears throat> I would give anything for a second chance with you. Yeah. And this person means anything. And listen, honor yourself. See, I'm telling you. So because you guys, 
you walking away, even though you were still head over heels, madly in love in every way with your person was honoring yourself. It was protecting your crown, right? Like the, the act of you saying no to this person's crabby offer, like this person could have gave you like at one point, a, a bottom of the barrel offer for real. Like, and, and they was just on some, like, that's all I could give right now. You was just like, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. I'm good. I'm straight. Like, you know, and this is, this is, this is what gods and goddesses do. You will protect your crown and you will honor yourself. Even if it hurts, even if it hurts, OK, you you won't allow yourself to constantly receive crumbs. OK, when you know you are more more than deserving of the whole entree or more. All right. This person, your twin was trying to breadcrumb you in the past, possibly because they were dealing with a karmic partner. And, you know, you guys decided that, mm, no, I'm going to honor myself for once. <clears throat> I'm going to protect my crown and I'm going to decline that awful offer and that's what you did and because of that you guys this person's just like i really feel like this person kind of look up to you for real they may not tell you that but this person ain't really had nobody to turn them down and stand on it like that this is some this is mr mr or mrs ladies man okay like this this is somebody who's used to people bending for them bending their morals their values for them doing things that they wouldn't normally do making exceptions for them you did not do that my heart aches for you and nobody knows it but me nobody knows it but me yeah this person is, is they're tired of keeping the secret to themselves that they're still in love with you too I'm talking about they ain't never fell out of love with you, but this person is prideful. All right. Ooh. Pride and ego is definitely ruined this for this person. Tell me more. Yeah, this person feel like a failure. Like they failed some type of mission. All right. I know God is protecting you from me. Yeah, this person, God definitely did not say. They, they hid you from the, your person. <clears throat> Most high put you aside, like, you know, had you focusing on yourself and other things because your person wasn't ready. Yeah, this person had to go through an ego death with ashes, ashes, they all fall down. This person had to go through some type of spiritual ego death for real. Tell me more. Ooh, this person's kind of angry. This person is kind of angry with a karmic feminine ages 35 to 50. 333 three, three could be significant. Your person is angry. Either they're angry with this karmic feminine or they're angry with themselves. Maybe they was angry with you at one point because you would not accept them while they were all basking in this karmic energy and their karmic glory. Like you was just like, eh. Now, you won't have me in Carmita or Carmel. You will not, okay? Um, and you, 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 you stood on that, you know? And this was all divinely guided, 333. Three, your angels kind of ushered you. You put your church finger up and you walked out. You walked your pretty self away, okay? You walked your fine self away, your handsome self away, all right? Um, because God don't bless no mess. And see, that, 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 that time, it wasn't in alignment with you guys. And also, listen, if, and I, I'm not going to say if, because it's here. <sighs> Their karmic relationship fell apart because God don't bless no mess. That was never going to work. If they left you for a karmic, God don't bless no mess. All right. If, if this person abandoned you to go off and play pretend with the karmic, God don't bless no mess. Especially if, if since this is a twin flame situation here, this was this person knew the assignment. Their spiritual selves knew the knew the assignment. All right. This was already contracted before y'all got here. And this person was gonna like, I guess, try to make it force it to work with a karmic. But God don't bless no mess collective, so therefore it fell apart. It fell apart. All right. Failed mission is here again. Someone is trying to block your blessings. 
that you could have felt like that this karmic was trying to energetically block a reunion between you and this person. <clears throat> they could be trying to block this person from getting to you. Make more space for your blessings. Self-sacrifice. What is this self-sacrifice energy here? You know, okay, side note. Sometimes people, your enemies will sacrifice themselves to attack you, to take you out of here. Or this karma could be willing to sacrifice themselves to stop this person from coming back to you. There's like many different meanings or that the self-sacrifice could kind of fall in right now. <clears throat> Tell me more. You were the only one there for me in my darkest times. I never got to got to thank you for that. Yeah, falling from grace. This is why your person fell from grace. This is why this person was kind of like spiritually deranked, demoted or something like that. Like they like, listen, most I was very disappointed in this person because you were definitely a blessing and a gift to this person. And, you know, you were there for them. You were obedient. You know, everything you did, everything that you were supposed to do. And this person still chose a karmic feminine between the ages of 35 to 50. Like or whoever this person is, they still chose a karmic. You did everything that you were supposed to do. And this person, they ended up falling from grace because of their disobedience collective. All right. And but here it is. Divine partner is now going through a spiritual transformation. Yeah, they are going through this transformation here. So all of this happened in the past. All of this has already happened. All right. So let me pull from. Right. What is this? All right. Give me a few more messages about this situation here thank you see inner child inner child collective and compromises in reverse your counterpart could not compromise with you because they were unhealed they were a broken little boy or little girl on the inside so they behave like the age of their trauma that's how they responded to you that's how they responded to you whenever that trauma happened to them that's the that's the response you got you didn't get a response from a grown man or a grown woman you got a response from a 9 or 10 or 12 or 13 year old boy or girl. And this is why this person could not, could not compromise with you. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow. You guys are mirroring each other. <clears throat> you guys are mirroring each other. So maybe both of you guys at the time, you, you guys were still healing inner childhood woundings and things like that. Look at this. Received. This person is receiving help from spirit. They're receiving, they are receiving downloads from the other side. Messages from like past on loved ones, spirit guides and things like that. Tell me more. On how to move forward or how they should continue healing. Wow. And um, about cutting off their karmic partner. Karmic partner is here in reverse. So this person is receiving messages from spirit about cutting off this karmic partner. So they're guiding them through walking away from this karmic situation here. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. And you guys, like I said, you refocus. And see, because you just, because you turned your back and decided to focus on yourself or remember I said that spirit separated you guys from this person and they had you guys to refocus on yourself and other things. Yeah. So because you were obedient and you did that, <clears throat> I feel like spirit could step in and really, oh, oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, spirit play. They, they had a hand in separating this person from this karmic. So if you and your person's karmic, you're separating on the verge of a divorce. If they, if they married the karmic on a verge of some type of uh, separation, Spirit played a hand in this, this person separating from this karmic. They, they went in and they did this themselves. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Tell me more. <laughs> so this was done from the other side. This was done from the other side, collective. Okay. Because I'm going to be real. Whoever this karmic is was going to hold on to this person with dear life. So spirit stepped in energetically. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Spirit stepped in energetically and separated them because there is no way this karmic was going to let your person go. Oh, they, they was determined not to let your person go. And somebody on the other side was like, I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. And they, and they did it. They did it. 
Okay. Tell me more. Thank you. Look at that. Soulmate settling. All right. So uh, I feel like your person, whoever this, the, the karmic is, could have been a karmic soulmate. And they were going to settle. They were settling for this karmic, even though that's not who, really who they wanted. They were settling for a karmic. Yep, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, spirit team. They were settling for a karmic soulmate collective. They were not happy with this person. And spirit came, came in and they separated these people. Or that's what's going on right now as we speak. Readings are timeless. So this could have already happened. This could be going on right now. Or this is what's going to go down in the future. All right. But this person was settling with a karmic partner. It says karmic partner um, in reverse. And soulmate. This person was settling with a karmic partner. And spirit pretty much put their hand in a pot to separate these people here. Tell me more. Because somebody was not going to let go. Yeah. So how they did is, is it how they did it is they revealed a a, a um they revealed a deception from this karmic. They revealed something to your person about this third party. And see, your person was like, no, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna stay with you after this. And you know, your person is like free self-worth so this was a test of your person's self-worth now your person is reinventing themselves because they admire you so they're watching you guys reinvent yourself now they're in the energy of let me reinvent myself tell me more that's the mirroring energy here yeah understanding now this person is having some type of they're having some type of understanding of what this connection is and who you are to them they could, this karma could have asked for a second chance and your person is like, the answer is no. Yeah, because they want to keep your person stuck. So the third party or whoever the karmic partner is asked for a second chance or a third or fourth chance and your person said no. Okay, they wanted to keep them stuck. Tell me more. Yeah, following the signs. So your person is following some type of signs. I heard all roads lead back to you. So this person is following the signs to, to get back to their um, their true love. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Big dreams. Yeah, so this person, look at that, taking action. Some of you guys could have already dreamed and saw your person coming back towards you. You already saw the commitment. Some of y'all saw the ring. You saw the marriage. You already knew that you eventually, you and your person was actually going to be together. You already dreamed it. Yeah, the divine feminine seen it. So if you're the divine feminine, normally the divine feminine be the ones having a lot of downloads and stuff, okay? You've seen this. You've seen the marriage, the wedding, the baby, the kids, the y'all living together. You saw this person returning, but it was about divine timing. It's never our time. It's always about divine timing. Okay. Um, tell me more. Yeah, the divine feminine definitely already saw the marriage a long time ago. <laughs> tell me more. It's uninspired. Put the muse energy in reverse. This person's uninspired without you. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Winter. All right. So not only is this person uninspired, but their world has been very cold collective. All right. I feel like both you guys have been trying to be patient. Um, I feel like I heard keep it at a minimum. So spirit kept this person's um, telepathic communication with you guys at a minimum because they did not want to disrupt your life as you guys was healing and transforming and working on yourself. All right. Tell me more. Yeah, shadow work in reverse. See, and I'm getting, they didn't want to interrupt this person going through their shadow work. Yeah, purge. So it was about you and your person healing and purging. Yeah. So they kind of kept the telepathic communication at a minimum. Every now and then, they would let a little bit get through and a little bit get through. But they would never let that much get through. And this was so that you guys, you know, you could release them and keep moving forward. And this person could continue to work on their shadow work in you too. Any shadow work that you needed to do. Another message. Thank you. Fall could be significant. You could have met this person during the fall time. Your birthday, their birthday could be during the fall season. Tell me more. Yeah. Healing in reverse and unawakened. See, that's, that was the problem. 
this person was not doing any healing. They wasn't doing any shadow work. At one point, this person wasn't doing that, okay? In grief. And this landed you guys in grief because you guys were healing. You were evolving. You was doing everything you could and your person wasn't. They was on awaken. They wasn't doing a shadow work. So you guys decide, you guys was led to move forward. But this person never really could move on from you. Okay, so they're also telling me because when you guys were going through this heavy grieving grieving phase, this was blocking your fresh start. So that's why another reason why they cut off telepathic communication with your person at one point collective. Because you were grieving so much that it was hard for you guys to move forward. Look at that. This person's going to return. They're going to return. There's about to be some type of return and an offer of devotion this person is kind of getting tired of watching you from a distance. But see, bound is in reverse. This person was bound to a double karmic energy. They had to release this. This person, once they're completely done releasing this, if they have not already, there will be some type of return collective while you are in solitude. See, you see her back is turned. You're not even going to see this coming. So while you guys are in solitude working on yourself, this person is going to wrap up releasing the devil. All right. And they're going to come in with some type of return, offering you love, reaching for you, um, seeking you guys, um, seeking your love, your guidance, your wisdom, everything. They're going to reach out to you and, and offering you the same, you know, devotion. All right. Um, let me let me find these cards. Here they go. Close this reading out. What else do they need to know before I close this reading out? <clears throat> One more time. Give me final words. Soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust the process, period. Period. I mean, ain't nothing else to talk about. Um, just like we said, just like Spirit said, this person is finna get ready to return to you. You're not even gonna see this coming because you finna be in like this is gonna happen while you in solitude, while you're working on yourself. You're not even gonna be really, I mean, you're gonna think about them, but not really type of energy. For real. You know, this person is finna let the devil go. If I uh, and, and the devil is definitely a karmic partner, they can let this person go. They are so freaking tired of being away from you, watching you, not being able to touch you, be around you, breathe you in. All right. This person is tired of this. And this person is going to come back fully ready for devotion. All right. Because this person never moved on from you as well with fresh starters in reverse. They never they never moved on from you. Yeah. Your connection is eternal and, un and unbreakable. It is. It's just, I don't care who they with. I don't care who you with. It's, that's just what it is. Your twin is who you're, your twin is your twin. No matter who y'all with. Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. And But this dream energy is giving me something different. I'm telling you, your, you and this person been dreaming of each other. It went from... No telepathic communication till probably like recently you had some type of telepathic communication from this person here. Okay. I feel like, you know, spirit was holding the telepathic communication back because they needed you guys to be able to focus. Let, let me shuffle and get one more. This person feels guilty. I feel like that was something else that kind of kept them away from you. The guilt, commitment, openness, person's going to be open to a commitment and test it. Wow. So, um, yeah, I feel like maybe this person may be tested one more time. Yeah, spirit's going to test them one more time to make sure to make sure that they are ready. All right. They're going to be tested one more time to make sure that they're ready. You're going to be tested to make sure that you're ready. But the end, the end goal is commitment and openness. You guys are going to pray together, love together, 
you guys are going to go to God together. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful relationship between you, you and this person. But and even when y'all get together, just know this is a twin flame connection. So every every entity within a 10 yards is going to be after this connection. So this connection will always be tested because of its power, because of how purposeful it is. So you, there's always going to be a karmic after your person. There's always going to be a karmic after you. This connection will be tested even when y'all get together, but y'all going to have to pray together. A couple that prays together stays together for real collective. You see the Bible. I mean, everybody don't read the Bible. I know I have so many people that watch me and I respect everybody's beliefs and stuff, but you know, <clears throat> I'm just, this is what I'm getting. I heard a couple that prays together stays together. So y'all going to have to pray pray to with each other and for each other in order for this in order for this union to work okay see trust you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish and y'all gonna have to trust each other you're gonna have to let go of whatever happened in the past you're gonna have to be willing to get this person a clean slate when your team tell you that it's time this person's gonna have to be trustworthy they're gonna have to show you that they're trustworthy because they're they are gonna be tested. Spirit is gonna test this person on purpose just to make sure that they not they not playing around. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me well I can't you can't even let me know in the comment section because I closed it down. I'm sorry, but thumbs up the video if this resonated with you guys even a little bit. I love you guys life. You guys are so so awesome. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe. Check out my website, themysticshoponline.com, where you can find my oracle cards, money alls, and protection alls as well. Um, also, really soon I'll be adding um my jury department as well. That's still a work in progress, you guys. So just kind of be on the lookout for that. I love you guys to life. Peace.